Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the CTO Advisor. So tweet, I ask that question, hey, how's you going? Every CTO Dose video, not one of you have responded in the comments section below how you're doing. So I'd like to hear that. Speaking of how you're doing, Justin Jones, Dell Technical Marketing. This is your second time on the CTO Dose. Welcome back. Hey, thanks. Happy to be here. I had so much fun the first time I had to come back. <laughs> So we were talking CI systems back at SAP uh, Sapphire last year, and we're talking CI systems again, but this time Dare, Dell Power One. Yeah. So as I've talked to Connor and I've talked to David about automation, the overviews of Dell Power One, in my head, I'm thinking hybrid cloud, on-premises cloud. Am I far off? Not at all. I, I believe, or I would say, in fact, that is the vision that we have at Dell Technologies, right? Most of our customers, or all of our customers really, don't live on premises. They don't live off premises. They live in a world that blends the best of those together. And that's where we believe Power One comes into play as well with uh, really entry into Dell Technologies Cloud. So we can't talk cloud without talking the capability of paying for it as I go. You know, pay as you go cloud computing has kind of revolutionized how we consume computers, reduced the friction of deploying big and big services that we couldn't do before. Power One is a big, big system. It has PowerMax, MX servers, Connectrix, uh, Dell networking, all this automation software. And all I'm thinking is, wow, that's that's some CapEx there, buddy. I thought we were going the other direction. Yeah, yeah. Well, we definitely do offer options to go the other direction. So like you're pointing out, right, the, the studies are showing that in the past few years, what's grown? OpEx. In the next few years, what's supposed to grow more? OpEx. And we're really tackling that problem with all of that automation. And we're also offering other ways to flexibly consume the Dell Technologies, uh, sorry, the, the Power One. Uh, as, as we offer it. So there's a couple of different options. There's uh, pay as you grow, where you can pre-position equipment uh, and then pay for it as you actually use it. And then there's another option uh, that allows us to actually scale up and scale down after some minimum. So if you use the equipment, pay for it. If you don't use the equipment, don't pay for it and, and scale that up and back down. So just I have to push back on this a little bit. I was at uh, the launch and we were talking about this, and one of the big topics during the analyst event was the lack of tools at the Power One level to feed back and let me know how much I'd spent. Like, you guys give us a financial report at the end of some period, but that might be too late. I might expand into a system that I can't, or well, that I hadn't budgeted for yet. Sure, yeah, and, and you know, I think in these instances, we would look to incorporate the VMware tool set to give us that kind of chargeback reporting to give it that kind of foresight so that we can we can actively manage the workloads on Power One and you can have that kind of reporting. Because who's going to determine whether or not that uh, workload is valuable? It, it has to be our customers. It has to be those folks with that information. So when you're talking about using the VMware tools, you're talking about the VMware operational tools that I can kind of set these boundaries. And as I'm consuming these individual VMs and resources, I can measure that and charge back using those tools. Yeah, because we find that most customers who are using this system are using those tools already. Okay, fair, 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 fair pushback. What else should we know about Power One before we wrap up? Well, um, as, as Connor and uh, Dave both pointed out, it is an all-in-one system, right? It's taking the best of breed uh, Dell components and blending them into an autonomous uh, infrastructure. So our Power One controller is able to take all of those southbound APIs into those components and present a single interface for our customers to consume this um, really as infrastructure as code. And, and you're going to see a lot more talk track around that as we move forward. The opportunity to consume clusters from the physical layer through the logical layers uh, and deliver them back to your DevOps teams, to tie them into your CMDBs, to Pull them in and, and use them in an SAP uh, integration if you need to. Um, in fact, I think, or I know, one of our first sales is an SAP implementation, and they're actively looking to transition from 
uh, R3 into HANA. And one of the great features about Power One is you have the ability to reuse resources, reclaim them and reuse them. So keep the lights on, right? Run the, 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 the tools and the processes that you need to run. Then as that migrates onto the, the newer platforms, you're able to shrink that and grow the other. Well, watchers, you've heard it here. Dell Power One, the system that you can run SAP R3 on, SAP HANA S5 eventually, and use it as your on-premises cloud. Too much to be true? Let's test them. Ask me the questions, and I'll be more than happy to forward them to Dale. You can do that by tweeting at me at CTO Advisor on Twitter. You can comment in the comment section below. I'm sure our Dale friends are watching, or you can visit the website, thectoadvisor.com. Talk to you next CTO Dose.